yourself. Is it the same one? Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Do we have any sampling goals for this dive? Um, same as the rest, really. We want to collect things that are characteristic of this area so that we can compare it to the biology of other areas. Right. Um, and then anything new that we see. Um, the seafloor is so vast and underexplored that we're finding new things all the time. So very high chance that we'll, we'll see something new. Cool. Thank you. Zoom in, Dave. Bamboo. Yep. Keratinocidiae or something like that? <laughs> Keratinocidiae, unbranched. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Um, and then there's some stuff to the left. I don't know. That kind of looks more like um, more protoptilum, so we don't really have to zoom on that, actually. You want to say on the starboard side here? Uh, she's looking at this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, but I think we've got that one. Yeah, we've already zoomed on another of this one, so I don't need to zoom on that. Um, I kind of just want to get close ups of, like, you know, each of the, like, representative C pens that I see. So, yeah, we don't have to spend a ton of time looking for every single one, but. Kind of a cool little track laid down for us at the sediment, just going between the the rocks. Yeah, right. Adam, you told me something really interesting a few watches ago um, about what we can learn from the ripples in the sand. Yeah. Is it about the velocity of the water? Yes. If so, if you know the physical properties of the sediment, then you can uh, use the wavelength and amplitude of the ripples to say something about how fast the current's moving. Because if the current's moving really slowly, it's not going to be able to pick up the little sediment particles. You might get small ripples, and if it's moving pretty fast, you can get bigger ripples. Oh. More of the same. More of the same. More of the same. There you know. Cool. Okay, so we're tracking how many C pens you get to look at, and uh, you've used three. <laughs> <laughs> you only get 400. What's the per <laughs> <laughs> it's not that often that I get to see a bunch of C pens. So we just completed a ship move. Do we want to keep moving? Another one. Here? Let's do it. We're doing it. Yep. Nav. I'm going to put on a longer step this time. So also the ripples can tell you about the direction of Let's current Let's do motion. a five zero meters, yeah, 115. Right. So they form basically orthogonal to 
the current direction or 90 degrees from the current Zoom direction. In, in. This one looks different, I swear. <laughs> it's different, it's bathy pathies. Actually, maybe it's not. That um, looks more like a C pen, sorry. Stand by. Penatula? Yeah, it could be Penatula. Need to get closer? Um, that'd be cool. Thank you. Do yeah, it's Penatula. That's noted, thank you. Still want to zoom in? Close yeah. Still, okay. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm seeing here, we do have some interesting mound features leading up to the summit of the seamount, which isn't nearly as flat topped as the previous ones we've explored. Is there a reason why it isn't nearly as flat topped as the other gills we've explored before? Uh, I think the top of it is pretty flat. We, we just mapped it today. Okay. So you may not be seeing the entire extent of it, um, but these, mounds seem to be on this corner of the sea mount to the kind of southwest southwest there's another set to the northwest and they're probably the rift zones of the mm. of the volcano so wow the volcano look at those like spots gets large enough uh it'll start to activity will start to focus on rift zones in part because the volcano becomes gravitationally unstable. It's what it wants to. It's grown too high. It wants to kind of slump down, and uh -huh. so oh, okay. these, we're good. These, we're good uh, on the zoom. Thank you. Cracks will form, and and the stresses will force magma into these rift zones. So the current island of Hawaii, uh, the uh, Kilauea volcano, has a uh, southwest and a east rift zone doesn't have one to the north because it's blocked by another volcano. Oh, okay. And Mount Aloha has a, uh, two rift zones and an area of diffuse volcanism, but it's a pretty common feature when volcanoes get large. Did you, you ever get that one? one? Okay. Six. Give <laughs> 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 <Can't> me <be tops. laughs> The zooms will slow down. We're just we're seeing a lot yeah, of sea pens. <laughs> Is it 400 per watch or per hour of the watch? Oh, per, hour. Per, per hour. Per hour. hour. See any left right. or right? This is another Penatula. Okay. Oh. And a shrimp. For All everyone tuning in, our expected dive duration is 16 hours. So this is interesting because this one doesn't have the same spots. Yeah, they look like. Yeah, actually, could what's this be different? Out? Yeah, what's yeah. that thing? I don't know. Could be a little critter living there. Rudolph the Red. Hard to tell. <laughs> 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 That's it. Huh. Closer. Break out the microscope. What's that red dot? That's what we're we're trying to figure out. I'm not so sure. I okay. Yeah, I am satisfied. How's that ship move? Ship moves doing great. We're uh, 20 meters into a 50 meter move. Oh, it's a long one. Yeah. Nice. Aren't I being so efficient? Can. We'll see if we can keep you all moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being really good. <laughs> There's a Zeta 5 4. Mm -hmm. Pretty optimistic about these rocks, too. Oh, yeah? They're what are you all, thinking? Well, you can definitely see this later stage mm -hmm. crust, but beneath that, 
I would expect it to be, you know, the primary volcanic rocks. Oh, and three C pens in one shot. Mm hmm. Look at that. And there's even an uh, anemone. Come in, Jake. I have a feeling these are all protoptila. There's something interesting by the base of the anemone. Hmm. There's something interesting by it? Yeah, so a little crawly thing. Oh. Are we looking for a crawly thing? Uh, sure, if we go back that way. It wouldn't hurt to look at a crawly thing. Are we sure it's still there? Yeah, it might be gone now. Hmm. Whereabouts was it? Uh, just at the base of the anemone, just crawling around the base. Oh, oh there it is. To the right of the laser. Oh. Polykeep. Oh. Polykeep. Yeah. I like how blue it is. Is that the same as one of the worms you've seen before? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Aww. Look at him go. You want to hold the ship here or keep moving, y'all? We can keep moving. moving. Okay. Herc's gonna need to catch up. Okay, yep. Fingers on the bridge button, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you cucumber either. Perhaps too ambitious. Ten meters left on that step, and we'll, uh, Hold the ship there and let her catch up. It's another of those anemones. another of the same, I believe. Can we zoom on this one? It's either Umbellopathies or Umbelula. And it looks like there's a fish over there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ship move complete. It's Umbelula. Umbelula. I remember it because it sounds a little bit like umbrella. Mm -hmm. And it looks like an umbrella that's been blown the wrong way. Umbrella. <laughs> Umbrella. Okay. Should we look at this fishy thing? thing? What are we looking at? Uh, fish up ahead of you. Oh, yeah, if you look up, there's a fish. Yep. There's a fish shadow. <laughs> yeah. 
right up there it is. Rat tail? Yeah. Palosaur. Mm hmm. Carry on. So we do have, um, you know, we have a team who's been on multiple cruises. Um, so we have a question. Um, what are the main environmental threats that you, that you have observed in the oceans and how do they impact marine ecosystems? Mm. I mean, the, I guess the most visible is the trash that we see. Right. But, you know, Fortunately, we haven't seen any on this cruise. I have. Oh, you have? What'd yeah. you see? Um, I think not on like a whole bunch of them, but it's like a piece by piece floating by uh -huh. as we're transiting to our next. Oh, and the sea surface? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, down here on the on the bottom, we haven't seen any. Right, right. Think. We saw a PBR can the other day. Oh. Oh, what? Hmm. Uh, but for people that we should use the yeah. acronyms. That's PAPS Blue Ribbon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is an educational <laughs> more, more accessible. Uh, um, but, you know, it's quite possibly the bigger threat comes from larger scale and hard to see, harder to see global change, uh, right. you know, in, in ocean temperature Very and, nice. and uh, chemistry and, and the like. So we have to be vigilant. It's one of the reasons why it's really important to come out here to a place that, that is pretty untouched right. to see what undisturbed ecosystems look like. Oh gosh, and then there's threats that have not yet kind of manifested in terms of, you know, further anthropogenic impacts to the seafloor through mining and the like. Zoom in, Dave. Oh, I think we saw this the other day. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I don't remember its name. The one thing that does not <laughs> seem to be a threat is uh, invasive species in the deep ocean. Hmm. Not oh. that I've ever heard of or seen. Do we know enough to classify an invasive species on the deep sea? Hmm. I mean, maybe not. that restraint <laughs> <laughs> wait and then um, along the lines of that starfish um, what is the geographic distribution of the different species of sea sponges and starfish are there any interesting patterns or variations in their presence in different regions or depths yeah there that's for sure the case um, we have a scientist on board uh, Brian Kennedy who's who's looking at that closely it's it's a you know tough problem because we don't see everywhere we don't have right. a synoptic view of where everything is right right uh, so piece by piece we gather it's this information to start to uh, 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 kind of looks bamboo-y but I don't see any yeah of the that's a bamboo you can tell by the polyps. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Chat remembers. I will find you and ID you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I yeah, sure I'm hope they're talking about that too. coral. 
Um, I also see a Chrysogorgia. Oh, wow. Ooh, Ooh, that's, that's, that's a beautiful color. Metallogorgia. I would love if we could zoom on this too, because it looks a little dainty to be, I don't know. Could it be a Chrysogorgia? <laughs> Let's find out. That one? Um, no, I think it's a, I think it's bamboo. a bamboo, but. But there's another Chrysogorgia. There's another Chrysogorgia, another Chiniculata. <laughs> Ugh, I can see so much more in the still cam, which is really annoying. Can you uh, increase the size of the still cam, please? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Sorry, by that I just meant the annoying part is that I can't like ID everything that I'm seeing in the still cam because it's not necessarily in the view of of the record. other one, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice focus there, Dave. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Looks like another Chrysogorget over there. What do you want to look at? Um, we can just keep going forward. I, I think there might be some, some things over there, too. Uh, in the sand? Um, no, on the like rocks, right I here? think. If we could zoom on the, the sponge, there's a chrysogorgia next to it, chrysogorgia. Hey, Dave. Bolosoma, possibly. Oh, and there's a ritogorgia. Oh, yep, Magnus Viralis. Ooh, cool shot in the still cam. So we have our viewers just tuning in. Oh, but I, I don't wanna. What? Is that good? Yeah. No, we have our viewers who are just tuning in asking, what's the purpose of the green laser, the dots? Oh, They're for, are... sorry. Go ahead. They're for scale. Scale. Um, so, so that we can like measure what we're seeing basically. Is there about 10 centimeters yep. apart? Okay, 10 Thank centimeters. You. Chat, they're about 10 centimeters apart. Um, and then, oh, okay. And then we have, what do you guys think? So about invasive species, mm -hmm. um, although in areas where there's less human impact, less likely to have invasive species since they're often introduced by humans. Yep, but yep. Uh, yeah, and but climate, uh, variations are causing a lot of right uh, conditions to be, you know, like right for invasive species. But yeah, no, I think that's a good that's observation that uh, less human interaction leads to less invasive species. So they're not always introduced by humans, right? Because it made me think about um, our. I think an invasive species, the Acanthaster plantsi, the crown of thorns starfish, um, mm -hmm. that it was never there before 2009, but after the tsunami, they just appeared and they were um, killing a majority of our corals. Yeah. Um, and nobody introduced that species to American Samoa. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are also environmental pressures that right, will right. affect um, like a, the habitat range of a given species. So that's definitely something we're seeing everywhere, really. Um, it's affecting like migration patterns. It's affecting like where things can survive. And yeah, so that's another way that, um, that, that some animals are being pushed into other environments and possibly harming those ecosystems. Right, thank you. More Chrysogorgia. Like three. It is interesting to think about if an organism can outcompete the others in that environment, and it's mm -hmm. doing so because the environment has changed in some way. You know, is that an invasive species or is that a shift in the ecosystem? We tend oh, to want to preserve yeah. the environments that we're familiar with, or the ecosystems we're familiar mm, with. Right. But, but they've see. changed. You know thousands or millions of times over over the earth history 
Yeah, I don't think I would call it an invasive species necessarily. I think it's kind of a separate issue because and I think invasive species implies that it was transported, that this is not like, it is not endemic to this area. So I think like species being pushed outside like of their natural range, um, I think that's still within like, they're not, they're not being like, um, transplanted into another location um, it might still be relatively similar to where they would prefer to live mm -hmm. suppose humans are the number one invasive species <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the things back home when we're studying the shallow water corals is that they are predicting that within the next 50, 100 years, maybe we'll have a shift between hard uh, hard corals dominated reef to octocorals dominating the reef. And maybe oh, wow. that would really? be, they don't bring that much uh, complexity to the reef. Mm -hmm. So that's not a good thing for right. the fish and all, but yeah, it's just, how things are evolving and maybe that would not be the worst thing if it right. becomes a octocoral dominated reef. Well, but that's what's interesting. Like if when there's a shift, it'll actually just change the entire chain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that That's an interesting thing. I mean, yeah, the one thing we know for certain is we cannot predict all the outcomes right. of that change, which we've seen lots of times as we've, you know, introduced mongoose to eat snakes but they eat native birds you know and mm -hmm. um who knows who knows how the fish will react or new fish species that that's true maybe you know yeah. benefit or yeah it's hard to say yeah i mean i think that you know things may seem pretty bleak but in a lot of cases in terms of like coral corals um we're actually seeing that they're very resilient to change mm -hmm. so it's yeah, not all true. doom and gloom. <laughs> that's very true. I think you were talking about that the other day, Jules, how epigenetics plays a big role in yeah, absolutely. the corals surviving harsh mm -hmm. changes. Right, so maintaining a level of diversity within the ecosystem is a critical piece to enabling that resilience, yeah? Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for tuning in to Earth Philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll now return to our regular inane comments. <laughs> Things got a little deep. <laughs> <laughs> it did actually. <laughs> regular inane comments. <laughs> Back to comedy hour, or hours in this case. <laughs> hours. Uh, can we see what that is? Zoom in, Dave. So, you know, we have like a Saturday Night Live television stuff. It's oh. like a Naughty Lose <laughs> Night Live. <laughs> Welcome okay, to, to 8 12. to 12 Night Live. <laughs> What's this? I think it's a uh, bamboo. Well, There's a weird little knot of uh, Yeah, what is that? <laughs> that sounds a little weird. Is that a mollusk wrapped around there too? What? What the? <laughs> multiple <laughs> polyps? There's like are a cluster of polyps. Yeah. <laughs> are those 
the bamboo, the corals polyps? It looks like it. Something huh. went weird here. Oh yeah, and there's that, that mollusk worm mm -hmm. wrapped around. That's weird, that knot of polyps. Yeah, so weird. Well, sometimes you just can't explain something and you move you on. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Say, huh, isn't that neat? Moving on. Moving on. There's lots we can't explain. Robert, eventually we'll want to head uh, southeast. Southeast, I. Yeah, what is? What are we doing? I don't know. You're <laughs> going a little joyride. <laughs> One one five is where we're eventually going. Well, I'll wait for you to head over to Atlanta again before moving. That's a really interesting geological feature. Yeah, that looks like a iron manganese crust that basically formed on a stable surface over time. Mm -hmm. So it probably started off as a bunch of little kind of pebbles that kind of grew together. And then as the slope has continued to fail, it's broken up in places. Yeah, right. Science, do we want any samples in this area? Before we put in another move? Uh, potentially. Um, can we go over this little hill down into the sandy area? I kind of want to look at the walls of this. It, it is somewhat reminiscent of a, like a lava channel, you know, like a lava, Ooh. and uh, that would be a. Where, where are we looking? So over this little hump and then kind of spin back around to look at it. And then about the um, the knot of polyps, um, mm. could that knot of polyps be where another branch has started to grow? Could perhaps. Be. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, no, I don't want a sample here. Do you want to look at this stuff over here? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh my gosh, what that's is a that? big Ooh. fish. That's a what big is that? fish. Whoa. Tell, tell, me, tell, tell me, tell me. Follow tell that me. fish. <laughs> Follow the fish. Looks like a cuscule. Yeah. It does. I yeah. don't know. Does it look it's got a sharky to you? Yeah. It doesn't, no, it doesn't have the right no. tail, but. Oh, is I it going to swim right thinking. into that rock? Oh, <laughs> come on now. Don't do <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Definitely a cuskeel. <laughs> That was. Is that right? normal? Has a parasite on its fin or yeah. something? Yeah. Buddy. Oh, he's gonna do it again. <laughs> Just like who oh, put these right. rocks here? He's oh, used to it. He's gonna do it again. Oh, oh no. okay. Oh, he he Let's go. Yeah, job, bud. It's like, man, everyone saw Christ me run into that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Play around the world. Perfect. Walk it off. <laughs> Swim it off, rather. A lot of Chrysogorgia to a lot of, lot of hair. Mm -hmm. I like this area a lot. It's soothing for some reason.
uh, is that, that like a sea a cucumber? I have to pull up there, Robert, because I'm surgeon. I'm bounce on that. You're stretched out. If I put on a move, will you come down this way? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I put in a move? <laughs> He, go, he goes bridge, where no. you tell him to go. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bridge, uh, three zero meters, 115. He's gone rogue. He's gone Dan. <laughs> He's gone to the dark side. He's gone to the back row. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to science. We do what we want. <laughs> Some interesting rock. I know. I kind of want to break off one of those lower. Ooh, Ooh I kidding. like that idea. But we haven't we haven't really gotten anything in place. We pick up, you know, uh, fragments because they're mm. everything else seems to be locked in. But when you have something like thin like that, it's a chance you could break it off. Mm -hmm. There's a Aritagorgia, is that? Yeah, Aritagorgia. And now I see Xenophyophores everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Can't unsee them. There's that sea cucumber. Mm -hmm. Can't really tell that these are coming out. Oh, that's good. Huh. What are huh. you? I haven't seen one like that before. <laughs> it's such fat arms. I mean, I shapely. Is that? It looks like a holothurian mouth. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, I oh, agree. Okay, good. But it. But it's got weird. Oh, oh. is that a whole three? Yeah. yeah. What? It definitely is, but Oop. I have um. not seen one like that before. Uh, uh oh. Oh, it's stretching. Don't worry. I think actually it might just be one of the ones that we see f in the water column, but mm -hmm. it's. I don't know. Don't the don't these things look too thick? They're not because usually it's like a. Yeah, I noticed uh, it looks fan, really thick. A cape kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the back part kind of has the the little wings. Well, it's definitely a holotherian, but yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what type. And why it wants belly rubs. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. They all, yeah, they are. If you, yeah. Huh. I don't... I mean, it's eating... Like, it's got food in its mouth, basically. Yeah. Um. Well, there he goes. Uh. There he goes. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Huh. Aww. Why is that so sad? It's so cute. Like, wow. Well, it's not swimming the way that a pelagic halotherian would. No. Interesting. It's not really moving much at all. You can see I that feel like it just... Stop fighting through life. <laughs> if anyone on the chat knows what that is, yeah, let us please know. chat. Help us out. Oh, it's almost if it's kind of controlling its movement somehow. Oh, chat says it's a type of sea pig. Sea pig, yeah, sea yeah, pig. Uh, yeah. But unlike any that I've seen before. Yeah. Oh, really? okay. Oh my god. This is uh, this this long it's expressing gratitude to the entire team. So. Oh. Yeah. 
from our friends, our friend from Spain. I just happened to look over. Seen enough of this guy? Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say no, but <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm what just you kind front of road. roll <laughs> reversal? <laughs> well, we've never seen something like that. Before. Let's keep looking. It's okay. If it's still in range, no, it's okay. No, sure? it... front row doesn't mean anything. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad we got that. <laughs> glad we got that set. I mean. <laughs> That's cool. We got a lot of photos of it. Someone will be able to ID. hopefully ID it. Right. Or chastise us for not collecting the only <laughs> known <laughs> example. Although our policy is to, oh, yeah. if to we collect see, the second yeah. known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we see another one, boy, those are hard to collect. It though. did have yes. very, very thick, leggy things. Protrusions? Maybe it was very well fed. Oh wait, here we are. Look. Can we zoom in? Oh that yeah. Looks like it. That that's right. I didn't Ooh, quite look like that. Found it. Known species. Oh. Wait, a sea star. Well, it, it looks mm. very much like a sea oh, pig. Oh, that's a small. Wow, that's a small. But what sea kind star. of sea pig? Yeah, well, stand by. Roger. Chrysogorgia. Tuniculata. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the iced cookie star. Yeah, it really does look like that. Very quickly, I'm not going to read the entire thing, mm -hmm. um, but this is for my friend from Spain. I'm going to read a little bit. So I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to all of you for your dedication, passion, and hard work in exploring and studying the ocean. Your tireless work in search of knowledge and discoveries is truly admirable. To the crew, thank you for your hard work and dedication in keeping the ship running and ensuring the safety of everyone on board. And then it goes on. Thanks, Aww. chat. Aww, thanks. Much appreciated. Thanks, Ruben. I'll drink to that. <laughs> when I get back to shore. When you get back to Let's shore. drink coffee, Adam. <laughs> coffee. Coffee, and, coffee tea and water. Yes. And juice. And juice. And juice. There's some little feeding tracks from Holothurians, probably. Okay. Completed a move. Keep moving. Look Keep around. Moving. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Bridge now. Three zero meters. One five. One one five. Can you do one one fiver next time? Oh my mm. gosh. No, I can't say that. Oh, <laughs> I love the fiver. <laughs> the niner. Five by fiver. <laughs> fiver uh, by fiver. Let me look at this. What? Is that a thing? I think it could be a thing. Can we zoom in the thing? And if it's <laughs> not, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a just thing. a presumed thing at this stage. Uh, I don't know. Robert said it was a thing. <laughs> yeah, Robert said it was a thing. Uh, it's not it's a thing. Was a thing. Not a thing. <laughs> it was not a thing. Um, but thank you for that. <laughs> Things will be thinged until proven otherwise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that another one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. What's happening? It's a different color. It looks like it has its like head in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's another Xenophia for right there. Yeah. Huh. That's funny. It's very hard to see that one. That one has more of the hood that I'm mm -hmm. used to seeing, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're right, it looks like it has a, a head of the bridge now. Three zero meter is one one five. Well, hello um, to our friends from Dubai. Yes, we did answer one of your questions. Like, what is the biggest fish or jellyfish you have ever seen? Oh, ever um, seen ever or yeah, on this cruise? Ever yeah. seen. Oh, geez. Well. Maybe on previous uh, cruises, too? Nautilus saw a sperm whale. Yeah, two been on sperm whale. That's pretty big. I guess the biggest fish I've ever seen, maybe a whale shark. Right. Well, was that on that? That's the whale shark on this cruise, right? Have we seen a whale shark on some, this cruise? Yeah, yeah. Some of it, yeah. No, it was on a different cruise. No. Oh, no. no so the, the one I saw was. Oh, on a okay, okay. Cruise. Oh, okay. I did not see this one. Because the whale shark that a lot of yeah a lot of us missed the whale shark on this one. So upset. Yeah. Chad, if you guys have any sea chances for whale sharks, send them in. <laughs> Biggest. Hey, man, Biggest jellyfish. I love when that happens. Probably something related to a jellyfish. Um, I guess I'm trying to think of things I've seen in person, but I'm, th I'm thinking one of the <laughs> biggest jellies that I've seen, or jelly-like things, gelatinous animals, are the pyrosomes. We've seen small pyrosomes oh. off the west coast of um, North America. There was a big bloom of them. They're usually found in the tropics, and they look like um, little tubes with speckles all over them sometimes they get called sea pickles but they're oh, um, oh yeah colonial animals that uh also oh, can buy I'm, I'm looking wow yeah looking they're it up. they're pretty incredible There's and they can get gorgeous. in um in some regions like in the south pacific or um out near australia they can get to be like 30 feet long what sea pickles yeah. that's crazy sea I feel pickles. Like, yeah, yeah sea pickles are the little ones the pyrosomes yeah. that On, can yeah. get huge are um I don't remember what their scientific feet. name That's is, but crazy. Are you, you, so it, the small, like pinkish ones. Yeah, the sea pickles like before. wash up on shore exactly. in Washington sometimes. Yeah, when, the, when yeah, there's I a bloom. That from yeah, when it's I was it's a kid. they've been showing up more frequently with warmer waters and climate climate change and warming oceans. Um, but typically, yeah, they're they're not found on the. You must seen waters. some big ones at uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium, yeah. When you we were there. we haven't actually, yeah. Um, there's just just when there are the blooms. Um, no, but big jellyfish. Right? Oh, big jellies. Yeah, of course. Yeah, That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, we have a lot of big jellies there. Um, probably the largest, like, bell size would be, like, the moon jellies. They can get to be, like, extra large dinner plate size. Platter, wow. maybe. <laughs> and oh, then, wow. like, sea nettles um, Those can are be, gorgeous. like, yeah. 10 feet long with their, their long stinging tentacles. Moon jellies. So cool. They do what look are my like sea pickles? Yeah, one of my favorite jelly species are sea gooseberries. Sea They're little comb jellies that are um, spherical. I don't know. The, the fluorescent light that goes through them is un unbelievable. Oh yeah, yeah. So right. Well, oh, it's not actually it. light that they create. They're refracting light the way oh. that like a CD refracts light okay. when you shine it in the sun. Maybe that's a dated reference for people who don't know what CDs are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like AOL sends them to you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, but yeah, the little sea gooseberries also send out these two, like, uh, in invisible little fishing lines. They, they, they're like little hairs that you can barely see, but they'll send two of them out, and then from each of those filaments, they'll drop hundreds of short filaments, and so they kind of roll out these fishing lines and then hang suspended in the water column and trap food um, in, their, in their filaments and then roll them back in to oh. um, absorb whatever food they've collected. But they're small, they're, you know, like, the biggest ones might be a couple inches across. Um, Lots of small Ooh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Boy. Let's go. Oh, it just keeps getting better. That's beautiful. 
That's incredible. Come in, Dave. Have we seen the sponge type Definitely in this region? No. I have yeah. not. No. Not on this watch. It's like a honeycomb. Yeah, that's true. Honeycomb. Honeycomb core or new sponge. Do we have any scientists participating in this cruise interested in sponge samples like this? Uh, we've collected some, so I could see a snip and slurp here. Yeah, this could be of interest. Could be or is be? Yeah, actually. Is be. I don't understand. Sponge, look, this is on the wish list that we have from one of the scientists. Oh, Porphyra sponge. Hold position, please. That's more of a plate. Yeah. But it looks like it's related to that. I'm trying to figure out which type of hexactinol this, this is. This is Chris Kelly from wish list. Um, oh, okay, possible ID. Awesome. Hertwigia. Hmm. No idea if I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> To our friends from Dubai, no problem. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so is that a yes on sampling here, sir? Yes, sampling, cool. please. Thank you. Um, I actually don't think it is what I said it. I thought it was. <laughs> Still figuring that out. Could it be a hexanelid? It's definitely a hexactinellid. I think it might be a euplectellid. It could be Atlanticella. Oh, sounds like it's in the wrong ocean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, buddy. It's really interesting because that's like the biggest sponge or species we've seen so far. Mm. Has a lot of He's associates too. Deep. Yeah, you're right. Providing habitat oh, for that's why. <laughs> oh, we're so far away. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when you're zoomed in, it's hard to keep reference. And then yeah, right. You were doing a great job of keeping it in the frame, so I just stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Let's try that again. Trial run on the uh, latest slurp configuration. Yeah, it's in that transition phase. <laughs> <laughs> it's been transitioning this whole cruise. Yeah. yeah we've seen a few different models of slurp. One of these days we'll get something that works right. Oh, the possible ID could be Atlanticello. Oh, yeah, that's that the one I said. Oh, okay. I think that's yeah. it. Wobbly perch here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I gotta go back where I was. That's a that's a wrap, isn't it? Yeah.
That's a great shot of the protrusions on the side. Is there a name for the little protrusions in sponges? I feel like there is, I just can't remember. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'll look into that. Okay, you want to zoom in on it, Dave? They have off comps. So where do you want to snip here on the, on uh, the lip? Snip mm -hmm. on the lip? Yeah. Oops, sorry. Oh. <laughs> like up there? Yeah, uh, wherever you yeah, can get you a could, convenient piece. Yeah. You know when we get the samples, um, this is a question, how much would these samples swell in size when brought to sea level to us? I don't think they really they swell at all. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, because yeah, they, they don't contain any air. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, I don't know how much. Uh, I think you got a good piece yeah, there. Yeah, you have yeah. a good. Oh, yeah, that's great. And this is a slurp? Yep. Mm -hmm. Are we okay for number five? Nothing's in any of the slurps yet. Okay. Yeah. I'll go for five, so. Okay, slurp on. It's fifty percent. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Holy That's Oreo. I Thank actually you. have treats I've been That's thinking it up to about. 70, I say. <laughs> I think I might collect them. <laughs> 80. What's happening here? Is he going oh, in? Oh Nine, 90. Yep. That's Max Slurp. Okay. Just keep it on the whole rest of the dive. It'll stick right there. <laughs> to be going. Can we get just a dab more and zoom on that? I'm all the way to the starboard on the depths as far as it goes, unfortunately. All right, uh, rather, before we clog that up completely, maybe we should rethink our plan here. What if you sort of tapped it off into one of the boxes? Yeah, we can, um, but, 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 we can't do that because I got to pull it through the, the sand. 
So like borrowing? Enough? Do you think it's feeding? Yeah. It's just yeah. It looks like it's like, oh, feeding? I love sand. <laughs> 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 mm, sand. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> These things are so cool. I love their little feet. Carry on. Carry yeah. on. <laughs> Thank you. You want to see the seat pen? Go ahead. I want to see the seat <laughs> pen. <laughs> Zoom in, Dave. What the? Oh, what sideways Zena Fire 4. Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm tricked. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I wasted a poke. <laughs> Thor, you have about like 380 something. Whoa, whoa. Where, where's this number coming from? She gets 400. <laughs> Isn't it 400? It sounds, Annie, that sounds pretty accurate to me. Oh, wait, why do you get 400? <laughs> I don't know. Someone said 400. Per what hour. Goes Adam. <laughs> per hour. Yeah, per hour. So I don't make the rules. I now. just follow them. <laughs> I, this pokeflation is killing <laughs> us. <laughs> Guys, a kid, you could buy a brand new car for four pokes. <laughs> <laughs> now a poke will only get you a Xenophia four. Yeah. Yeah. If that. A sideways Xenophia four. Yeah. Some say we should get rid of the single poke. That was a reference to pennies. Sorry, <laughs> I tried. Oh, top left. Didn't even get a This one, I on swear, that. is going to be a C pen. Zoom in, Dave. Penatula. What's it look like underneath the sand? Hmm? The anchor. Oh, the peduncle? I don't know. If you want. <laughs> is it like a, is it like a sort of a single bulb or is it yeah. a, is it a, a, like no. a like a root thing? It's sort of this like inflated bulbous structure that like anchors it. So it's not holding on to like a rock or anything under there. It's, uh, yeah, it's peduncle is keeping it in place. All right, I think we got it. Thank you. Well, maybe a possible idea on the sea cucumber from chat, Peniagon Porcella. Oh, cool. Peniagon Porcella. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For everyone tuning in at home, our dive duration uh, about 16 hours uh, at a depth of 19, 86 meters. Um, if you are just tuning in, um, head on over to nautiluslive.org. We have an amazing highlights that are uploaded from our previous dives. Uh, we will be uploading more highlights in the week to come.
those of you who are really interested, you could visit my Etsy shop for some <laughs> unlicensed <laughs> Nautilus gear. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, that's one of the questions from chat. Like, um, some of the viewers were wondering if um, Nautilus sells uh, T-shirts. Have you ever sold T-shirts in the past? I don't know. Samantha, did you ever do. sell T-shirts? Negative. Ah, uh, negative. Negative. Sorry, uh, chat. Our uh, our uniforms are just that. They're uniforms for shipboard personnel. Oh, oh pretty. Okay. We hope in the future to be able to offer that, but. Chris Agarjo with the squat oh, lobs. Oh, thank you. Security. Staffing. Staffing. Long-term support. We're uh, Ocean Exploration Trust is a small nonprofit. Uh, so far, do not have the, not set that up. We don't have a right. T-shirt person. Yeah. <laughs> Woods Hole has a very elaborate store. Woods Hole has an <laughs> extensive staff. No, no, it's <laughs> it's actually like location. all volunteer. It's, it's like Justin Fuji <laughs> carrying around crates, or, uh, <laughs> or something. Yeah. They have a whole online store though. Oh yeah, the Hui does. Hui but does. The, but yeah, each like does. ship and vehicle right, kind of carries right. around their boxes of shirts and oh, right. then lays yeah. them out on a ping pong table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We give them away, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, if you're on the ship. Yeah, if you're on Correct. the ship. Correct. Yes. So, different model, different ships. Is that something? Nope. Just light? Just white. There's a little sediment. Mm -hmm. Like the sediment. Someone asked before, you can kind of see this, where mm -hmm. the sediment mm -hmm. beneath is a little bit Oh, right. I remember that colored. question. Yeah. We have gotten some push cores, thanks to mm -hmm. Robert's skillful side poking abilities. Um, but I haven't looked at them yet. So Did those turn know. out? Yeah. <laughs> There's an ebony. We don't really. We haven't optimized Bless the cameras for Bless. side poke. And then Adam, um, from our friends online, what is the predominant geological composition in that area at that depth? Are, Are there specific volcanic rocks, sediments, or geological structures? Yeah, for sure. So the the dominant rock type is definitely basalt. Right. It might be a slight uh, variation on basalt. Could be a little bit alkalic. Um, containing higher concentrations of, of sodium and aluminum. Ooh. But uh, we don't really see it because it's all been covered with iron manganese crust. That's a crust, the black stuff that you see, it grows really slowly, like a millimeter per million years. But these are really old volcanoes. So they erupted as much as 80 million years ago. And so they have a lot of time to accumulate that crust. So, and there are other rock types on these volcanoes. There are carbonates from when they were very near sea level. There's other sediments from the, you know, volcanic rocks and from the carbonates. And we've seen all those when we've uh, pulled up rocks and cut them open. Um, but in this part of the planet, uh, and, and in fact across the whole Pacific Ocean and all the ocean basins, uh, volcanic rocks and basalt in particular is the dominant rock type. Cool, thank you. I was like, just a random question that popped in my head. Do we know who the first sci the first scientist to discover basalt? Um, Can we zoom in, Dave? Well, that's a good question. 
I mean, people, you know, the... Correct. Ooh, early man knew of basalt. Right. Uh, you know, the old Donio Lengai Gorge where, you know, cradle of civilization, you know, there's, there's basalt there. But um, the first person to give it that name, I couldn't really say. Yeah, nothing comes up too. That's interesting. Oh, there's our first crinoid of the dive. Nice. We've seen a lot of crinoids on these dives. Not, you know, sometimes they're really dominant. Others, they haven't been as prevalent, but both stocked and uh, unstocked. Oh, and there's something pink over there as well. Maybe a paracorgia. Oh, look at that. Weirdly, oh, with a, what is that, a big, a big ophiroid or maybe a percentage on the rock. Is that a Chrysogorgia on the right? Yeah, Chrysogorgia down below, yeah. Can we zoom in, Dave? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, Poly what? Polykeep. Hey, oh. get out of the shot. We got, <laughs> we got Polykeep bombed. <laughs> that, yeah, that's a Paragorgia or bubblegum coral with a Ophiroid and looks like a few zoanthids starting to colonize at the base. Oh, no. Look at that. It's a brittle star. Look at the wall. That's a big that's a, brittle yeah, star. Yeah, that's a big brittle star. Whoa. Whoa. Little worm. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh looks like bloop, he's bloop, bloop. heading to the knot tying class. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I got an ay, ay, ay. We're only an hour in. We're only an hour in. Like two minutes in the first time I turned around and looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. What do you think this is? Chrysogorgia. That is a Chrysogorgia. All right. Sorry, I'm going to be absent I, for a just second. Just as I said, Chrysogorgia. Yeah. Adams are getting really good at these <laughs> coral ID <laughs> skills. Every, every cruise I pick them up and then <laughs> fly <laughs> out of my head. We can move on. Yep. Sorry. This is fine. Oh, really there's a coral. Big one at the top there. Top middle. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like a Norella. Possiblemente. <laughs> hey, coral experts. What do we got here? <laughs> <laughs> that is Norella. Nice. Do we need to look at it? Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Zoom in quick, <laughs> quick zoom. Why not? There it is. <laughs> there it is. Aww. Yeah. It looks so right. happy. Yeah, it's a happy coral. It's a healthy one I'm on SPL. But no uh, associates, interestingly. Oh. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's so happy. Yeah. All right, we're good. Thank you. Okay, we're about 10 minutes, 10 minutes. We're about 10 meters out from uh, the end of our next move. Do we want to keep moving? Or keep moving. Roger. Three zero, oh, bridge nav. So, but basalt? Three like zero meters, one one five. We can just add to that last step. Doesn't have like a specific person that named it, but we do have the etymology Means is it German? It's Latin. 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 Wow. Spelling of Latin, actually. 
and it means very hard stone. Oh. What was the word? Basalt. Basalt. Oh, wow. Very Speaking good. of which, what's our word of the day? Ooh. And what's our science word? I'll have word to look that day? up. Okay. And we have a science word. Our science word of the day. Oh, I remember the word of the day. Yeah. Word of the day is we sacrosanct. Peak sacrosanct. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Describes things too important and respected to be changed or criticized. Uh, well, that doesn't sound. The, the truck is sacrosanct. Sacrosanct. Yeah. Yeah. Waypoints are sacrosanct. Waypoints are sacrosanct. I think that's an not under, on my watch. <laughs> underutilized word, sacrosanct. Yeah. We could work that in a little more. It can also mean most sacred or holy. Oh, wow. Chrysogorgia. Chrysogorgia. And for TJ, the deck is sacrosanct. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, now I'm going to have that little jingle in my head. Chrysogorgia. Meticulous. <laughs> 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 uh, what are we seeing there? It's a tunicate underneath. Mm -hmm. Are we still looking there? I don't. I was just looking at this thing down here, the That's underside. Interesting. Could be a thing. The ring thing. Oh yeah. Is it a? Is it a oh, shadow? Yeah. A shadow is it a shadow? Maybe of Zoom what? In, Dave. Optical illusion. Huh. Yeah. What is that a shadow of? Tricked. Oh, you, oh, is it from the... Is it us? Oh, no, there it <laughs> is. The there tunicate? it is. Oh, it is a tunicate. Oh, oh, there oh, we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Hello. <laughs> they always look like mouths. Yeah, it looked like a kind of a Pac-Man. Yeah. Oh, Our there God. we go. Open it up. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Tunicates are great. So it is a chilly 2.35 degrees C outside of Hercules. Mm. Zoom in, Dave. Hmm. What are we looking at? Yeah, I. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, coral folks, what do we got here? <laughs> it's interesting. Are there polyps? Oh, oh very is it a black ones? coral? Could it be stochopathies? Here, hold on. No, I think it's stuck about these. Yep. Stick about these. Word. The most aptly named of the corals. Mm -hmm. Um. So. What did we learn about pathies last time? It's an old French word. Pain. Pain. Suffering. <laughs> but um, I was reading something interesting about bathypathies, and I'm going to tell you it in one second. <laughs> OK. First, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Okay, um, I actually need to refresh my memory. Yesterday I started talking about quorum sensing uh, without having a plan for what I was going to say and it didn't go well. Quorum sensing? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, all right. Quorum? Like when you're sensing 
how many people it'll take to make a vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing we do not have enough people um, to, to second this motion. So quorum sensing is like cell to cell communication that allows bacteria to um, like determine the density of cells in the area and adjust gene expression. Hmm. Um, so I was talking about this in relation to the bobtail squid ah, because the, floor, right. the biofilm will, like, the bacteria will build biofilm depending on, like, how many other of the bacteria are, like, in close proximity. So it's only when it's, like, most optimal. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay, science, keep going. Keep going. Bridge, nav. <coughs> We're gonna reach the top of this hill. Three zero meter is one one five. We should start climbing up a little more steeply here. Go back to manual. No, no, it's okay. Zoom in okay. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. Metallogorgia. Yeah. Yeah, metallogorgia. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. Very oh, wait, sorry. delicate. I just want to change this back real quick. Am I still saving it here? Okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, what is it? Sorry. Oh, and there's a mollusk worm at the base. Ooh. Aplicophrin. Actually, I think that's a shrimp, though. Yeah. Uh, I see shrimp. Time to go. Yep. Time to go. Yep. Or I can hold here. No, no, let's move. There's a, a coral that actually. Chris Gorgia to Nikki Wild. Sudden there, Chris Gorgia. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was something different. No zoom needed? No, no zoom, zoom needed. <laughs> Thank you, though. No, it's so messed up. There's a C pen. Yeah, that looks like another of um. um it's another penatula. Penatula. Right. Only that first one had the little mustard seeds in it. Yeah, that was really interesting. I wonder what that was. Babies. I don't think so. Do they carry their ba babies um, inside of them? No. Okay. I thought maybe like digesting something at first. Hmm. But I don't think their stomachs extend that far down. Oh, look, a penatula. And probably Umbul a bamboo. That's a umbalula, yeah? Oh, did I say penatula? Yeah, yeah. umbalula. Shrimp. Shrimp. Seems like a dangerous rock to attach yourself to. <laughs> <laughs> a little precarious. <coughs> Speaking of rocks, 
Um, <laughs> is there any pattern to the distribution of the rocks? What about on the slopes? Big ones roll downhill? How does that work? Yeah, so... Uh, there sometimes there are patterns. You, sometimes as stuff moves downhill, I'm sorry. Can we, oh, it'll get correct. sorted into kind of by grain size. So the bigger stuff will stop before the smaller stuff. Here, everything looks kind of locked in place. I'm not even sure if you went to pick one of these up that you could, maybe, but uh, didn't, I don't see a lot of sorting here. Oh, okay, thank you. There's Let me a Holothurian. Oh, Did I have bamboo? Bamboo? Yeah, that's an unbranched Keratoicidinae. Keratoicid. Keratoicid. Looks like another pennant. Mm. No, it's a rock. <laughs> In a pretty steep area here. Mm -hmm. There's a Chrysogorgia. Chrysogorgia and a little stock crinoid. And then we have chat saying there was a, I can't, let me pronounce this word, a uh, <laughs> Pycnogonid <laughs> sea Pycnogonid? spider on top of that whip. What? Really? Oh, was there? Really? The I wasn't paying attention. Those are so cool. Oh, it looks like another Bolosoma. And, and a Chrysogorgia, that little yep. brown anemone. Uh, looks like Stichopathy's over here. Can we look to the left, please? Not a Xenophyophore. And an Urchin. A and an Anthemastus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So much happening. Can we get a close-up on that? Yeah, a close-up would be great. I don't know if I can get an ID from right here. Is that a barnacle on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Ooh. Leila, what do you think about this one? That's interesting. It looks a lot like the one we saw before, but just green. Yeah, it does look like that. I think it could be a stick of pathies. Yeah, it's definitely a black coral. Yeah, I think this is Stichopathies. Okay. Thank you. What's that thing? I think that's an urchin. And that's uh, one of the soft corals? Yep, that's a mushroom coral, Anthemastus. Anthemastus. I wonder if this is anything. Oh, I, I did my poke first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got conflicting pokes here. Yeah, that's I okay. know. <laughs> I want to see that thing. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, do you want my seat for a second to figure it out? Okay. Well, of course, ranks, Urchin so King wants to see the urchin. <laughs> wow, those are very long spines. Wow. wow. So long. It's like oh. Oh. not even Sorry, on the ground. Urchin King, <laughs> this looks is like one of your eyeballs. finest subjects. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's it does amazing. look like an eyeball, doesn't it? It does. Wow. That's so neat. That's some good defense. Yeah. Have you got an ID? Oh. Uh, I'll work on it. Okay. Just for highlight purposes. Uh, it's oh, got a little um, polychaete mm -hmm. underneath it. Yeah, chat says Aspie 
the diadema. Urchin? Right here. Ooh. Jules. The, looks about right, yeah? Yeah, that looks like Let's it to go, me. chat. Awesome. Thanks, chat. You're awesome. I think that little polychaete's in, like, urchin jail. I can't get out. Urchin <laughs> jail. <laughs> Yep. Thank you. Wow. What were we looking at up here? What did you see over here, Jules? I don't think I saw anything over here. You did. You po Oh, I did? You pointed to something. Oh, uh, dear. I don't remember what the... <laughs> Right. Don't worry about Moving it. Moving on. Yeah, we can move on. Oh wait, there That's it is. That's another stick of pathies. There it is. Oh, did you find it? Yeah, something it's pink. pink. <gasps> no it's way! It's from who? From <laughs> Dave. Dave, thank you. From Samantha, actually. Yeah. Oh. It's from Samantha. Thanks, we Samantha. Like thank you. Yeah. They're my oh, favorite. They're really oh, good. sour white tea. Oh, that's good stuff. With Ooh. the powder. Mm -hmm. Ooh. With what powder? Lihing, it's like Lihing. sour plum powder. Lihing moi. Yeah, Lihing moi. Mm. Muy bien. <laughs> Gracias, Samantha. <laughs> Lihing muy bien. I need to take Gracias. a picture of this packaging for tai, for tai. so that I can buy this later. My wife who grew up in Hawaii, they'd get stuff like this at the, what they call the crack seed store. <laughs> I have no idea why it's called the crack seed store. The crack? Crack seed, seed store. Seed crack store. seed store. That is delicious. That is. Mm -hmm. One left. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is the bag is small. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in, Dave. The Nom Nom brand is really good too, but. Nom Nom. Yeah, Nom Nom. Oh, shout out to our friends from Dubai and the Czech Republic. Wow. Wow. Right? Hey. Our dive duration is about 16 hours at the bottom with a depth of 1986 meters. If you're just tuning in, um, we, our team just posted highlights from our previous dives on NautilusLive.org. We will be posting more highlights in the days or in the week to come. So stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, it's I this know. one. Yeah. It's a pretty. I have to pull up there a small pretty bit. Pretty crinoid. Yeah. Swinging into the wall there. Course correction. Nobody done to the uh, folks in the Czech Republic. Oh, that's a good day. So how do you say it? Dobry den. Dobry den. Dobry den. Oh. Dobry den. Okay. It's another Chrysogorgia.
<laughs> we have chat asking, what is the candy called again? It sounds great. <laughs> uh, oh! Is that a halosaur? Is it? Halosaur. What's it called? What's halosaur? Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. It's a halosaur. <laughs> the can candy. It's halosaur candy. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about the fish or no, the candy? candy? <laughs> Chat wants to know what the candy is. The candy is Lihang sour lychee gummies. Ooh. <laughs> and the fish is a halosaur. <laughs> fish is a halosaur. Lihang sour... Oh, sorry, can you repeat that? Lihang. Lihang. Sour lychee. Sour lychee. Sour lychee. Sour lychee. So... The fish? <laughs> what do we have? Like halosaur. Halosaur. <laughs> halosaur. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. All right, So, any of our students tuning in from Dubai? Yeah, yeah. So it's um, they're from Dubai. They're actually all tuning in together, watching um the live. So one of their reading texts is about the EV Nautilus. That's awesome. Well, uh, one of the question, uh, one of the questions: What is the biggest fish you have seen on this journey? Ooh. Or jellyfish. Biggest fish or jellyfish? Probably the white tip shark. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The big fish. And they like to hang um, around Looks the boat. Like Ooh. What, what, what Something are we looking covered at? in hydras and zoanthids. Oh, wow. And crinoids. Yeah. And crinoids. Lions, tigers, and bears. It's a party. Actually, wow. those look like. What are those? Um, or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we zoom on those? That's wild. It's very interesting. I haven't seen that before. Should I'm really we, sad that there isn't more of that candy. Should we sample? Yeah. Uh, yes. Sample? Yes, we should sample. Ooh. Bridge, no? We're sampling? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are we looking for? The, uh, the uh, dis organism disregard. is living on this. We're a, a whole position here. Can we zoom out, Dave? And how are we doing this? this you, is you, you can oh. snip this whole thing, I would think, yeah? Can we do that? Snip, snip. Yeah. Well, do you need the hydras on top? The zoanthids? Or sorry, zoanthids. Yeah. Well, um. Well, you think you could get off one of those anemones? Depends on how they're attached. Oh, you'd have to get the. Oh, you want the whole tube too, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this the, the organism the under it is not no longer living. Not well. Unwell. Not Quite. Dead. Yeah, I think the easiest thing is to snip at the bottom and put it in a box. Right. And there's no record of anyone on other watches. No, nope, we don't have Which any is. samples. Cool. It looks like a tube worm. Oh, of course, worm. we just got here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jules. Either feather tube worms or type of tube anemone. So I think it sounds. might be a tube worm. I've never seen that on a coral before. Yeah, super interesting. Can you zoom in, Dave? So we're going for the whole shooting match? Whole shooting match. We don't need the crinoid, though, right? No, we don't need the crinoid. I don't know how you avoid the crinoid. Oh, yeah. A, wow. Oh. Wasn't much attachment in there anymore. It answers that question. Definitely no longer living coral. <laughs> no. no longer yep. with us. It's interesting how all these associates can coexist on the coral. They seem to have neighborhoods, though. They do. That reminds me of Nemo. I mean, the reef that they all <laughs> yeah, have different right. neighborhoods. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
There's something really interesting here, too. This looks like a front box kind of situation. Front box situation. Which oh, yeah. was the, also the name of my band in high school. Thank <laughs> 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 God. That was a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Tool trail. Tool trail. So you got no screens anymore? Uh, nope. Waiting on the screens. Roger. Yep. Pick a box, any box? Uh, right. Whoops. This will be sample oh, oh, oh. 085. 085, thank you. Hey, what the heck? I, hold on, I'll try and pump it a bit more. Looks like it's just a bit longer than the box. <laughs> <laughs> Is Cup it possible to obvious. snip it in half? <laughs> we can probably like from right there. Yeah, I, I think, think it'll can. bend a little bit as we yeah. push okay. down. Okay. I'm most interested in preserving these. Here we go. Preserving two worms. Oh, Let's go. perfect. Nice. Oh. I, think, I think it's happy right there. Yeah, I think it's good. Watch it. Okay, tool tray coming in. Thank you. Yeah. There's a sponge stock, dead mm -hmm. sponge. What's that? It's a brittle oh, star. Brittle star. We saw one that was enormous, like <laughs> yeah. five times yeah. that big. Yeah. On on the rock as well. Wow. Okay, are we ready for another move? Yep. Oh yeah. Great. Through the holder, you know. Oh, okay. We'll lose the hold. Mess. Yeah. Gotcha. Unless we call that a sacrifice. 
go for another grab. Yeah, I think that's probably the yeah. Yeah. Best thing to maintain, yeah, the capability for the rest of the dive would be to get another grab. Okay, so we're just gonna grab and box, and grab and box, and we're gonna blow this one off. Yep. So you wanna quit sucking on it, right? Dropping off to zero. Right, that's zero. That's clear. Okay. Well, I think something went in there. Yeah, though. something got in the bucket. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, all right. Oh. But that's what we did. So, uh, another grab and box? Yeah, I think so. Yep. The part facing you here looks like a... Good? Yep. Think a side box for this, or are you worried Ooh, about dropping man. it? Uh. Can we put it in the box with that other sample? That'd be fine, yeah. Okay, put in the right forward okay. box. Should I... Sorry. Should I put a note that it can flow away for the next watch, or do we think that's going to be stable in the box? Let's, it's fairly let's floaty, drop it in and... Let's drop it in and see how it, how it goes. That sounds good. That's, that's definitely a problem on the side box, because you got thruster if they don't turn it on. Oh, okay. And it'll definitely blow out. All right, tool tray coming out. Yeah. in there. There we go. Let's go. All right. awesome. awesome. Thank you. This would be sample 086. Copy that. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I'm just waiting for <laughs> the right time. <sighs> okay, I think when we're ready to go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready to roll? Yeah. TJ, you good to go? Good to go. Good Excellent. to go. Hey, TJ, um, you want to do a shout out? Um, your mom is tuning in <laughs> from home. <laughs> Hi, TJ's mom. Hello. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, this is great. Um, I hope everybody's good at home. And, uh, great that you're watching. I got to go this way. Uh, we like having TJ here. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. Go, TJ. <laughs> TJ's awesome. 
you know, she, um, her comment, hello, this is TJ's mom here. Just wanted to say hello to all crew. Very excited to watch you all. Woo! Excited to have you along. You We're go. gonna miss TJ in a couple of days when he switch out when he switches out with Mike and goes back Aww. to the deck. His first you're love, you're the deck. We don't think he's gonna come and hang out still. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Bridge nav. Three zero meter is one one five. Those are for sharing, by the way. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not with me, but with these two fine fellows to your left. Oh, cause they look after us. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pass them down to Dave, though, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Oreo. <laughs> Cookies as well. Find the, <laughs> find the crumbs now. <laughs> oh my God. My mother used to think I worked hard. She's going to see me now with cookies and crisps and sitting in a chair. Uh, she, she won't have any pity for me now when I go home. Sitting in a chair looking at TV with all your friends <laughs> oh, at it. the movies. <laughs> Dead sponge. Dead sponge. Dead Faraday. Yeah, speaking of dead sponges, so a question. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nickel speaking for of time. dead sponges, um, what is the reason for the apparent low density of marine life? Uh, can we elaborate? Like, it's represented by mainly corals and sea sponges that we are exploring. Is it because of the location, or are there other factors? that influenced this observation. Yeah, um, what depth are we at right now? How deep is this dive? Oh. We uh, are... We're probably like 1800 or something like that. Yeah. 1856. 1856. Yeah, I mean, you'll find pockets of life, especially okay. around seamounts. It's really dependent on the availability of nutrients, the availability of food. Um, you know, biochemical processes are happening really slowly in the deep sea. Um, things move on a really large time scale. Um, there's no sunlight down here, so there's no, um, no photosynthesis. I was going to say primary production, but, <laughs> um, yeah, there is a lot of chemosynthesis mm -hmm. happening. Right. There's plenty of microbes and things that we can't see. Um, but corals and sponges are, um, are adapted to live in these kinds of environments in the deep sea. Um, you also have to keep in mind that we're zoomed in on like a very specific spot on the sea floor. So we're only seeing a, a fraction of, you know, of all of the life in the deep sea. So for the corals, you know, in the spot, we see a lot of a certain type of like dominant species. Um, mm -hmm. Does that have to do with um, how fast they're able to adapt, spawning, you know? Um, what do you think? I mean, I think it has to do with a lot of different things. Mm, okay. um, I think just, just like their ability to survive in a given place. Um, it seems that there may be sort of like preferences Right. Um, that's something that Brian um, Brian is looking into. He is studying the correlation between um, geological features and biology. So looking what for you zoom on that. Yeah. yeah. Looking that for patterns. Oh, so that's on the ongoing research. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of people are doing biogeographical studies to try to figure out what determines that looks. Is that what I think it is? I think it might be. I think it might be. Woo! You think it is? Is what? it? We got one! I mean, really? It's really? Because that's so exciting. I'm like... Do you want to try it? Yeah, see if it's stuck down or yeah. not. I mean, Bridge we can nav. just at least pick it up and look at it. Yeah, chat is tuning in. 
hold position mm -hmm. about it. <laughs> yes, Chad, we're hoping. Let's find out. Fingers crossed. Do we want to say the Fingers words crossed. yet? No. For people who don't know what we're don't looking at. <laughs> don't say the word. Don't say the word. <laughs> we're going to jinx it. Don't jinx it. Roger. People who don't know what we're talking about at home, we'll just have to wait a couple minutes. Yeah, Sorry. a couple minutes. For everyone who's just tuning in, wait a couple of minutes. <laughs> It has to be because my birthday is tomorrow, so <laughs> 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 I'm your, going to be proud. That's true. Happy early hours. birthday. <laughs> you get one wish. Your early uh, gift. You all know what I'm wishing for is <laughs> right there. Yes. So fingers crossed. And then the whale shark is just going to appear in the screen. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's going to wave at us and <laughs> say, it's going to look you in the eyes and say, happy oh birthday, gosh. Paola. <laughs> I love I'm yes. so excited. Chat, you excited? I'm so How excited. How old are you going to be? Big 24. Wait, what? How old are you going to be? I'm going to be 24. Wow, in two hours. what a great age. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. That's a long How time ago. So long ago. Yeah, your birthday is going to start at the end of our watch. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Ooh. Ooh. That's a piece of it there too, yeah. I have a what? There's another little piece of it right there. Mm. That little piece is part of it? Yeah. I didn't break it up. <laughs> Outstanding grab right there. No, that seems like a. You might like see about setting it down and getting a. I need to cross the gap. So I can yeah, right. Oh, that. Yep. Ooh. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to be able to get under it a little bit, right? Yeah. Instead of pinch. Oh, nice. Fell right in the place there. <laughs> Regardless, it's unusual enough that uh -huh. we should probably grab mm. it. Oh, yeah, I think that channel on the bottom looks about right. All right, don't spin it too much more because I'm afraid it's going to... Oh. Where's this going to live? Well, how, <laughs> do you f how do you feel about going around the side? Iffy. <laughs> okay, then front, uh, front port port side front basket right. we can put other biological stuff on top of it right. under your camera yeah zoom out Dave all right so folks on the on the chat uh, w this is likely a whale bone um, fossilized fossilized <laughs> whale bone so we've seen a, a couple of them out here before and uh, which is pretty remarkable.